we've got the, the big funeral pyre that will be in Malta on the coast in an area called Imtahleb, which is more or less in the middle of nowhere. But it's a very beautiful area. We're obviously planning on a big fire, so we have to keep it a certain number of meters away from the trees, and, and the, we have to protect the ground, so we're, we're putting in, you know, kind of a sheet of, of metal and then sand above on that, and then the set will go onto, onto that. And we're building this fantastic funeral pyre, which is made up of logs. It's very kind of sophisticated in the fact that the whole framework is and welded and made from special effects. We've got to have real actors on this thing. It's got to light up, it's got to burn essentially without damaging anybody and also be reset to camera time and time again. That took a lot of planning again, working out how we were going to do it, what, what it would look like. I worked closely with the art department. Gemma, the designer, wanted to make it sort of really a complex piece so that it was, wasn't just a simple basic funeral pyre. So we decided to have two concentric rings of fire linking into the main structure so that when you, you lit one of those rings that the flame would roll round it, light the next ring and then go into the centre so you've got a real sense of occasion. And when we came to shoot it, it was very, very windy because the set was right next to the sea. The wind really affected the flames because um, we're using gas flames and it, it blows the flames over, it flattens them down. We shot over two nights in Malta and we were lucky because there were times when the wind dropped enough that we could get some good shots, so, and it worked very well. It was a difficult sequence. We had two stunt women on fire, so it's a compli complex sequence, but it went really well. <laughs>